Good morning, good evening, and good night. You guys know that's from? Night. Truman Show, I think. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Um, we are in route. Just had a little conversation on how to spell in route. We realized it's two words, but yep, we're in the car here driving through the beautiful city of Birmingham. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous place here. Um, headed over to the Gymshark HQ, the lifting club. Haven't seen it yet. Going to be doing a collab with Mr. Obi Vincent, Obi One Kenobi. The man is a gentleman, a scholar, and one hell of a CrossFitter. So I don't know what kind of workout we have in store. I'm thinking it's going to be something a little bit more functional, which is cool. I can hang. We'll get it I done. Left my Apple Watch at home. And now my day's gonna say that I haven't done any workouts or any <sighs> Should've got yourself a whoop. <laughs> Never comes off me. I shower with it, I sleep with it. I even do things like cook with it. You guys can get yourself one if you wanna click the link in the description below and get yourself a discount by using the code Steve Cook. You can do that. It tracks your strain score, your sleep score. Basically keeps me, keeps me knowing if I should push it or kind of back off for the day. So my recovery score is 64% today, which is about average for me. I'm, I'm rarely in the red and I'm rarely in the green. I'm in the yellow right now, which is basically, which means, you know, I pushed it decent yesterday, but I can still push it a little bit today too. So that's where we're headed right now. We got about a 20 minute car ride. Do you guys want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Dumb and Dumber? No? No. no. Got the Metcons. We're doing a functional workout. A lot of you guys have asked me about these. Custom ID Metcons. Okay? Can't get these. These are one of one. Steve Cook special. Thank you. We are in the building. I'm pulling a Casey Nice that I'm vlogging with my sunglasses on. By the way, did you guys see Casey's last video? It's the first one back in a long time where he is actually with the Gymshark crew, basically supporting Hella, who ran across the country. Hella's a Gymshark athlete that ran from California to New York. So I'm doing my vlogging like Casey Neistat here with the sunglasses on. Pre-workout. Oh, that's the newest flavor of culture protein. Orange cream sickle. I also brought an elixir pre-workout. Perfect blend of caffeine, citrulline, right to get you going for your workout here. So this is what we're going with. I want to go with a half scoop because the workout we're doing, I think the heart rate's gonna go through the roof. We're just gonna track it with our, our whoop today because Obi's also with whoop. I want my heart rate to get going too high too soon a lot of caffeine can jack up that heart rate so only a half scoop um, i might even go the pump which is what i take if i don't want caffeine in my workout i might go half and half actually let's do that a little, a little creatine in there as well ah, alien elixir if you guys haven't tried it it's the most underrated flavor in the whole collection <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> high fives to everyone no, we're not so i'm steve chris it's up to you as well Okay. How's your body feeling? How are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling my age. I feel old and tired and broken, yes. but I'm still ready to What's your this. recovery score right now? Your whoop score oh, today? Oh crap, I should have posted it because it's 80%. 80%?! I'm at 64%. But well, that's still that bad. bad. Oh no, I'm stubborn. I'll still, I, even if it was red. I'm always in the yellow, it seems like. Me too, yeah. I think I was in the green until I met Morgan, but now I'm always in the yellow. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. <laughs> it's actually yeah. opposite. That's probably true. You I sleep, I sleep better, yeah. It's yeah. Better. yeah. I sleep better. But no, I, I, I like my, in my HRV, I'm just. It's low. It's always low. Yeah, because age, age comes oh, into play cool. as well. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Trust me, I don't know. <laughs> That's already the fastest way of saying it. No, I'm, I'm, trust me, I'm there too. Really? So, yeah, it, How old are you? I'm 35. Oh my gosh, yeah. I thought I said 28. Um, <laughs> everyone says that, I'm like, thank you, but I don't feel it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it is aging also how you train. Yeah. Um, and yeah. also if you are feeding 
yourself enough and drinking enough water. Water is a big factor. I noticed that because like this whole trip, I've been felt like I'm constantly dehydrated. Because you know yeah. when you're on holiday, like, you never, yeah, you yeah, never yeah. drink as much water yeah. as you should. And I feel like this whole trip, I've just been constantly dehydrated to the point where I feel like my skin even today is just dry. So, so today, yesterday, I just did some back. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. The day before that, I did more of a CrossFit style mm -hmm. session where it's so, like I've been trying to do. Make an IWT or a Metcon, and then like if I'm, it just depends on really like I've been training more intuitively than I mm. ever have, just mm. because I feel like with traveling and everything, you got to really listen to your body a little bit more. So like yesterday, I usually start off the day with like a good warm up. Um, like yesterday, I did 12 cows every minute on the minute. Minute one was 12 cows in a row. Nice. 12 bar burpee over bar, and then. Uh, Oh, 200 meter run. Nice. So that yeah. was one minute, two minute, and three minutes for 18 minutes. And yeah. That, that makes me feel like, okay, if nothing else today, like I've gotten in yeah. like, solid 20 minutes of intense cardio, like that, that kicked my butt. Like around yeah, six course. or seven. Emo. Yeah. Back, back, I mean, that's back. the thing is like, what I love about Emo, what me and my friends do, we tend to use the first round as yep. a warm up. So yep. always have less numbers the first one. Makes sense. It wakes you up. You can ramp then, it up. Then. And then you ramp it up. Because like sometimes people feel like they have to do those numbers. Right. And then that's when, when you don't do them, you yeah. feel like, oh, right. oh, right, I'm not really that good. But if you like, if you get, you always get to that sweet spot where you're like, actually 13 is a good number, all of them. Yeah. Just stick with that. And then ideally, if you keep doing that, after a few weeks, you'll be like, actually, I can do 14. Yeah. So that's... Best not to redline right out of the gate. Yeah. And I feel like that's yeah. so true with... with like even like running at half, I ran a half marathon and like I started off slow. Like my mile pace was so much slower than it was at the end because yeah. I ramped it up and it just made me feel like I got better throughout the race rather than like mentally, if I would have gotten worse, mm. I would, it would have been just so self-destructive. So it was good. yeah, I mean, but even with running, because I started running yeah. tragically. Um, and I remember Nick Bear saying, everybody always runs at 90 plus percent. And he's like, I always run about 60. I, should, I can have a conversation with yeah, money yeah. because it's, if you're burning out all the time, it's the same with weightlifters. So a lot of us want to do one rep max snatches. Olympic lifters probably do about 70%. Yeah. So the real athletes don't even train like we're trying to like yeah. always be like strong. And one rep max, one rep max. Do you think max. it's the bodybuilder mentality to yeah. like, I need to push to failure? Yeah. It's like, I need to, I need to go to, it doesn't matter if it's three reps or 12 reps. It's like, I need to fail on that last rep. And yeah. to do that if you go ahead. All right, move the workout outside. It's a nice sunny day, so we're taking advantage of it. We'll be doing, it's gonna be a good partner workout. So it's a usual I go. We'll be doing double unders, 200 double unders, broken up between Obi and I. We're doing a touch and go power clean, and then lastly, bar facing burpees. So this one's going. Skis last, mate. Oh, what, oh it is? Yeah. What, is, it, is the burpees last? Yeah. No, burpees oh. then ski. Oh, we got ski too. <laughs> Obi's just dropping me off. thinking of adding more balls. Obi's just dropping, we got ski. How, how far are we doing ski? 200 cows. 200, 200 cows. Yeah. To finish. We did, we did, I think we did ski last time I was with you. No, it was, it was the bike and holding. Oh yeah. Remember that one? <laughs> yeah, I remember now. That was brutal. All right, we're gonna try to do a little bit better this time around. Any other tips you wanna give me before we start this workout? Cause I always come out too hot. I won't do that. Yeah. To be fair, the double under is gonna, see like a lot of people will look at the bar cleans and think it's only a hundred, it's only 60 kilos. Yeah. The double one's gonna take a bit of the wind out of your sail. Yeah. So you just do, nice. Are you doing sets of 40, did we say? Yeah, just okay. take your time. Don't like. All right. Yeah, it's not competition. Luckily, I have been doing some double unders. I brought a jump rope with me on our uh, travels. So if I'm ever gonna be decent at double unders, not good, but decent, it's gonna be right now. So uh, that being said, we're gonna let Obi start because if we're doing rounds of 40, that means he starts and finishes. So sorry, but nice. you're at first. Thank you. <laughs> Let's do it.
sweaty, take off the shirt. Yeah. Mine came off because I wanted to get a tan. Enjoy this <laughs> English sun. bodybuilder, ex-bodybuilder is doing CrossFit. Can we just go unbroken for 200? Yeah. Is that it? Yes. We're on here. Nice. Freaking feeling like a legit CrossFit. <laughs> I did. Good. That's good. I'd have been haunted. Lost that step. Oh my god, this is hilarious. <laughs> in order to get better at burpees, you have to do more burpees. Yeah. Which is my first problem. <laughs> I steer clear of burpees like it's COVID. If I see burpees, my mask is on, somebody in that gym's got symptoms, I can't train that day. That's my motto for burpees. So it's good to finally see how to do a proper burpee. I'm well, gonna try. Not proper, more efficient. efficient. Remember, efficient. There's a difference of efficiency. <laughs> Not gonna lie, those hula hoop gals, they saved my bacon. <laughs> nice, much better. These are bonus reps, right? Yeah, okay. We got steer? Yeah. All right. The we easy put, one, the fun one. We put away equipment? No, nah, these Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so the fun, you say, you say the fun one? I don't know, rest, yes. Let's do it. I don't know if this sounds fun. Max heart rate so far, 175. That came during double unders. My throat's too hot. Oh. <laughs> How many are you going? 20. 20? Yeah, we did oh, 200. Wow. Oh, we're doing 200. I was under the impression it was 100. Good thing. I would have felt like I wasn't getting enough cardio today. I can't talk loud enough because of Obi's just got this thing running like a jet engine. So the goal is try and keep it over 160. What? Yeah, there you go. There you go, nice. Nice, come on. Yeah, you can use your legs as well, come on. 
My hamstring. More power. Good. I'm just going to have to take a little bit longer in between. Let's go, Ted. Eventually. That scare. I wasn't ready for that. Told you. What is that? All right. All right. Come on. Look, I even did 171 for you. Is this machine? <laughs> someone someone I told back you this to? ski was worse. <laughs> Obi's the nicest guy. Did one extra cow <laughs> on the skier. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Do it really well, actually. I say 15. Bro. Nice. I didn't want you to feel like I was taking your calories. <laughs> carrying me. I did figure, I felt like calories on a skier is kind of like calories from food. I just didn't want to take Obi's. You know, he wanted to eat. He wanted to get those calories. So I said, hey, you take the last 15, big man. Speaking of calories, I'm hungry. <laughs> How many calories do you eat in a day? I, I burn about close to 4,000 a day. So, so you're imagine. You're eating at least that then, <laughs> right? A lot, yeah. Wow. Yeah. My lats. I know they're yeah. not quite as big as Obi's right now, but they yeah. feel like they're Obi size lats. So <laughs> I'm 100 kg, Obi's 110. Yeah, 110. I'm losing weight, which is good. You look lean, man. Yeah, thank you. Put this guy on stage, two weeks, he could be ready. All he's got to do is a couple more of those hit sessions. Nice. How long did that take, you think? Uh, I mean, let's longer cut. than he should have. <laughs> we'll, cut out the, we'll cut out the hula hooping. It was yeah. plenty. No, it was fine. Look, look, it's not. That's the thing, when you said we should time it, I was like, no, I'm not timing it. Because this is not what this is for, because right. I know that this is not how you train all the time. No. Yes, you this do is it, how I, This not... is how I train like maybe once a week for 20 minutes, Yeah. if I'm being honest. Like, yeah. or, or I might do like an IWT, which involves more of a compound lift, like a front squat, with more of like a, then a, a dip, or some movement where it's more of a, for time, but, and then a cardio piece, but it's very rarely do I come out here and do 40 minutes of just a killer, yeah, like I that. mean, it, to be honest, two years ago, that would have killed me. Yeah. But, like, as you can see, I'm fine. Yeah. I can do more. It's crazy. Let's take a look, look at the whoop score. We'll go analyze our whoop the score. Whoop. My, if my phone's still alive. I'm going to be honest. The best part of that workout was the first exercise for me. One or two high. Yeah. You did really well. Four, two, five cows. How, how far? Four, two, five? Yeah. I was max 177 and then 482 cows. What was your average heart rate? It was 146. See, and mine was 151. So yeah. that just shows you that like... So our strain's the same. Oh, is it? 8.7. Um, what's your calories? 485. Oh, mine's 428. Yeah. I just think you're in better, better shape. That's why uh, I, I ended up burning more calories because, no, I'm just kidding, I wouldn't have anything to do with it's it. Not but that much. It's not that much. Yeah, it's, it is pretty... I it mean, is. let's just cut that bit where he says I'm in better shape. So. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> go home now. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think uh, there's any question about that right now. I feel like, though, doing that kind of stuff... Yeah. Like, I got a great pump. The muscular endurance aspect of these types of training, like, there is something to... You know, we all think hypertrophy rep range, 8 mm. to 12 reps. There's something about going hard on a hypertrophy element with doing a obviously the skier for that like 10 cows isn't going to take you you're not there's not a ton of time under tension yeah and that so like there is the there is a muscular endurance element for sure yeah i mean and so a hypertrophy when i program set because i purposely program in this way for us yeah i program that's why i cross i don't have a crossfit coach because with us we're slightly different we are 
technically still bodybuilding. Yeah. So for me, I know what element I need to put in that will benefit me, but would also make me better. Yes. So, so lifting under fatigue, that's why I put the barbell cycling yep. after this, the double unders. Gotcha. You're tired. But guess what? You need a lot to use a lot of the, your muscle to literally use every single muscle, every single strength right. you have to cycle that barbell. Yeah. It's my forearms. I was taking those to failure. Obviously, the muscles yeah. in my forearms. Even, even like, and then obviously on the, on the lats, like we are using very specific muscles. Whereas the double unders, yes, your shoulders, but it's just yeah. an overall general fatigue that yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah. about. That's that's kind of a lot of workouts. I I always call, I call it. I mean, CrossFit is called training under fatigue. It's learning to train under fatigue. So you would never have like sometimes you might do, but if you want to be better at especially barbell cycling, a slight fatigue helps. Yep. Um, or emoms of double unders. That's even worse. Yeah. Emoms double unders clean clean and press clean and press that is teaching you and because i do so much emoms that's why when we do when we did this i'm still dying don't get me yeah, wrong yeah, yeah. but i just know how to die at the right moment and yeah. then when it's go right time to go so even with the burp even though with that ski my heart rate went up to 180 oh. but i just know when to kind of like right i can relax right now right. to switch on and your recovery you're, you're coming back down to your average heart rate a lot yeah. faster than yeah. i had Yes. It would take me almost, I think, at least twice as long to come back down to that resting heart rate. Yeah. Whereas you're, you're getting down there, your average heart rate was what, 140 some? Yeah. And I was 152. Yeah. So like my heart rate is just staying up there, which means like I'm not recovering as fast in between those movements as Obi is. But again, that's how he trains. Experience. One of the things I wanted to point out too is that like in CrossFit, you see these guys, like I'm looking at you right now, there's a pump. Like these workouts, you go to the games workouts, you see these guys, you, you'll see pictures of them that they post on their Instagram. You're like, damn, that dude is fully jacked. He is low body fat and jacked. Obviously, they have a good pump from whatever they're doing. But I do think that there's something to training under that kind of duration and stress that like you are building muscle. You're, you're, you're building a decent amount of muscle as well when you are um, going to failure in your lats on that. Like that, that was my weak link on those. Yes, it's the, the cardio, the breathing, but also my lats were couldn't they were so pumped they couldn't move so it's gonna be interesting to see I think as we, we, we were talking about it the crossfitters these days physiques are getting even better and better and better because of the way these guys are training so yeah. absolutely amazing workout though yeah, um, let's see what Gymshark has to offer for food chicken broccoli and a baked potato in there and can I get a small one of those with a Oh, perfect. Yeah, and we can just dribble some. See, that looks great yeah, to me. Good. I don't know if that's... Know. See, that's that's how we do balance. You get some veggies, you get the katsu chicken, and then the chicken breast, and that's, that's quality. We're gonna go pick up a Diet Coke and be good to go. Thank you.